Rourke right here at SpringfieldILHomesForSale.com. This is the web show where we answer your real estate questions, no matter how big or how small. Extremely easy to do right here on the page where it says leave a comment. Leave a comment and we will find it and answer your question as soon as we can. Or you can visit us on our Facebook page or our Twitter site. Nice graphics, huh? Yeah. And uh, we will get back to you as soon as we can. Now, our... Uh, uh, our, our topic today has to do with you fine, friendly folks from up north, and I'm uh, meaning uh, specifically the Chicagoland area, that uh, for some reason or another have to move down here to Springfield. First of all, welcome. We are so happy you're here. Uh, beyond that, um, you know, I've worked with a lot of Chicagoland buyers, and um, I notice a trend among them. So we're going to talk about the two things that people moving from Chicago to Springfield need to understand. The first thing is you are going to be able to, you're, I don't know that, that any Chicago person that I've ever worked with understands how much more house they can buy for the money. Okay, it is borderline unbelievable to most Chicago people exactly how much money uh, they can save by buying a house down here as opposed to up there. Well, I'm going to give you a quick example. I'm pulling into a neighborhood right now. I'm going to find a house. Oh, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, um, look at this house right here on my left. I'm going to show it to you. See it right there? Yellow. Nice house. Pretty nice. See that one? Okay. That house right up there, I have a cousin that lives up in Des Plaines, Illinois, suburb of Chicago, and they have a house for sale just like it next door to it. You know what it's listed for? $220,000. <laughs> I'm not kidding, Springfield people. $220,000. All right, and that's down. They've reduced the price to two twenty. dollars Unbelievable. You know what that house sells for here in town? Uh, that house sells for in fantastic shape maybe a hundred thousand dollars you know maybe just a little bit more uh so what you can buy here in spring in springfield chicagoland people is unbelievable that's the good thing now here's the other thing you have to understand and every chicago person i've worked with that has not understood this you need to understand it uh out of the gate okay look we price our houses are priced basically with the market in mind already, okay? Or in other words, do not expect to be able to walk in with a huge lowball offer and get any kind of attention from a seller, okay? You'll probably be re rejected, good chance you'll be rejected on a regular basis by that kind of deal. Um, uh, I, an example, I have a uh, another cousin up in, in um, up in Chicago who is selling an apartment complex right now and they've owned it for 20 years and they are currently under contract uh, and selling it for the same amount that they purchased it for 20 years ago. Okay, that's what's going on up in Chicago. That is not going on down here. Actually, our houses have, uh, have appreciated in certain price ranges and in certain neighborhoods uh, have actually appreciated th during this whole dr down downturn. So two things one be prepared to get a great house for a lot less money here but also don't think you're going to be able to bully a uh, seller uh, with a low ball offer because it just will not work in most cases thanks a lot for watching today uh and uh thanks a lot uh for all of your support and all the great comments we've gotten over the last many episodes we've done and uh to leave you today here is some vid video of my daughter eating noodles